What do you make of that story, Connor Murray? What do you think is going on, Michael? Yeah, you know, <laughs> it seems like there's a difference in opinion. Um, usually the default, usually the, the, the obvious and the easy explanation is, is the right one in these instances. There's a different disagreement on money. He's coming up on extension time. Um, and he did not. They say you only as funky as your last cut. Uh, and he stunk against the Rams, as we know. And so um, I'm guessing, I'm assuming, and I think it's a safe assumption, that there is a difference uh, in value, how the Cardinals see him and how he sees himself. But then when all the dirty laundry starts getting aired, mm-hmm. see, that's how, that's how I wonder, like, how do you come back from that? Like, does a contract just make up for that? Like, if there's enough unhappiness on Kyler Murray's part to scrub his social media accounts of all things Cardinals, if there's enough unhappiness on the Cardinals' part to put out that he isn't, you know, the best thing since sliced bread himself, like, how do you come back and move on for the next 10 years? It just kind of feels like this is the beginning of the end, and it's a matter of, of when, not if, this relationship ends one way or the other. Well, I was just saying this, is that if, if you think someone is immature and um, – and That person has already scrubbed his Instagram account, which one would say does lack uh, a sense of maturity, right? Yeah, that's very teenager Correct. And so if you're dealing with somebody like that, how do you think he's going to handle the whisper of he's immature to Chris Mortensen? How do you think that how do you think that one's going to land? So I don't I don't know how you do come back from that. Yes, a contract will. No question. Uh, make it better, and he can still win championships for that team. But he will be on a mole hunt forever in that building. That is for sure. And from the Cardinals' perspective, again, I I like Kyler Murray. I think he's an exciting player. You know, seems like a good kid. I don't know him personally, and I I certainly don't know the inner workings of the Cardinals as an organization and where that would have come from or or who would have been. If somebody is inclined to commit to him, why they would have put that out there to Mort. But you know the old saying, money doesn't – change you it just makes you more of who you already are so if they have reservations about who he is from a character and leadership standpoint how do you you know comfortably invest the amount of money that he's going to be looking for um it feels like it's on its way to being you know a, a baker mayfield cleveland thing where it's like hey we got to see more before we decide to commit and the more you don't uh, going back to relationships, you know, we've all been there. It's like, hey, what are we? You know, what are we doing here? Are we, are we, are, are we going to, you know, take the next step? And you're like, no, nah, I just want to chill. I just want to kick it. I just want to – I'm not ready yet. Well, if the Cardinals aren't ready to commit fully to Colin Murray, when will they ever be? And by that time, will the relationship be too far gone where he's like, no, nah, I remember those whispers to Mort back in the day. Don't think I forgot. It could be. And, and then, you know, but, but you, you can't blame the Cardinals – for saying to him, we don't want to pay you now because our plan was to pay you next year. Mm-hmm. And if we pay you now, we have an issue keeping this guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. We've got to keep all of this stuff. Our plan is to pay you. Don't worry. Be happy. Right. <laughs> and, hey, and right. <laughs> um, and, and then he doesn't like that. It's kind of like this is the business that he's chosen. Yeah. And and I don't I, I can understand he would say, well, what about Josh Allen? Look at the money that that he made. What about the fact that Wentz and Goff got paid? And and so <clears throat> that's the conundrum because yeah, if you're the Cardinals. You're like what they eat don't make us crap. You know, <laughs> um, I guess it is it, it is. It is what it is. If you're Kyler Murray, and mm-hmm. I, I would never begrudge a player from wanting to get his bread. If you're Kyler Murray, you feel like you've done enough, you've accomplished enough, you were the number one overall pick. Let's not forget, and I mean, it, you know, it looks better and better in hindsight, given that we haven't heard much of anything from Josh Rosen. You know, they went and took him number one overall when they'd already taken a quarterback top ten. That's how much they were in love with him on the front end. Uh, they've steadily improved, even though they've collapsed in the second half of regular seasons. Nonetheless, they've steadily improved the last couple of years, made the playoffs. So if you're him, you're like, yo, what are we waiting on? But if I, I side with the Cardinals here because he was awful in the playoffs in that, in that loss to the Rams. He was awful. So if, if I'm the Cardinals, I would like to see more before believing that what you're asking for or what you're looking for or what the market says you should be or you're entitled to think you should be paid I'm, I need to see more before I cut that check. So that's why you have this face-off, and that's why he's, you know, scrubbing his Instagram, and now all the dirty laundry is being aired. I just don't know how you put this proverbial toothpaste back in the tube. I guess with uh, nine figures. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.